I hope you can hear me okay. All right, so I'm standing here at Cave 3, just at the base of Mount Kilimanjaro. The clouds keep rolling in, so you might have a bit of a cloud coverage in the mountain. So today is day three, I think. Anyway, tomorrow is our big day. We're going to be summiting tomorrow, so it might be day four, actually. It's so hard to keep track. It's been such a big trip. But I'm feeling amazing. It's been an outstanding journey, and we've just been doing it real poly poly, as they say here in, in Tanzania. It means slowly, slowly. Here come the clouds. Um, This climb, how does this climb remind me of my life? Well, that's a good question. I mean, it's been filled with amazing people. You know, you just don't, you just don't know how, um, it's hard to expect or hard to know how people are going to come into your life and affect your life in such a positive way. And I'm always looking for people who are um, good at heart. And this place is full of people who are good people, who live by the land and who believe in the power of the mountain. For me, the mountain is Cancer. Um, cancer is a huge mountain. And, you know, when you're diagnosed with cancer, you feel like you cannot climb that mountain. But with a little bit of willpower and the right people and the right equipment and one step in front of the other, you will get to the top of that mountain. And even if you don't get to the top, I mean, look at how beautiful it is here. And at least it's not gonna stop you from trying. And that's what this mountain represents for me. It's a huge accomplishment. I feel amazing for doing it. You know, fear prevents you from doing a lot of things, but um, fear is just an illusion. This really is not as scary as it was in my mind before I even came to Africa. Now that I'm here, it's just another trek. It just happens to be the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. But for me, um, it was the impossible, and that's why I wanted to do it. And I'm so glad that I did. And physically, you know, I had all of this fear that I, you know, I wouldn't be able to breathe, that it would affect my heart, because of course, you know, I've got this high blood pressure issue. Um, but when you take it one step at a time, you just go slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, my heart has been fine. My breathing has been amazing. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. I was even, one of my bigger fears was even taking all of the medication that I had to take. And Diamox, for example, is a, is a medication that you take for altitude sickness. And I was really afraid of taking this medication because I didn't know how it was going to affect my body. But it's been fine. Um, one of the side effects of Diamox is tingling in the hands and the feet. Some people are complaining about tingling lips. I had tingling feet the first day that I took it. And I've had nothing since. I read in a book somewhere before I left that children aren't affected by altitude. And that just proves that that it's all in the mind. Children are so carefree, they don't overthink things. And I think when we put so much fear and emphasis on all of the things that can go wrong, it's again, the law of attraction, whatever you focus on will happen. So I haven't been focusing on any of that. I've just been going pole pole. I've been enjoying the journey and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. So, now I'm going to go for one more walk today to acclimatize. We're going to go for a half an hour walk up 
another 700 feet or so. And then we're gonna come down, have a nice dinner, and then have a very good sleep to get ready for tomorrow.